Well, what did you just hear? Did you hear, Are You Sleeping, Brother John? Did you hear, Frere Jacques, Dormez-vous? Did you hear, Bruder Jacob? Did you hear, Bruder Martin? Or did you hear, The Brooding Double Bass Solo from Mahler's First Symphony, Third Movement? It's an eight bar long double bass solo that has caused the double bass players to lose many a night's sleep. Why? It's only eight bars. It's not that difficult. When I first looked at it, I said, okay, forget a fingering. One, two, four, two, one. One, one, two, one, one. One, four, 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 one. Thumb, one, two, one thumb. Fine, get a fingering. The bowing, that's what it is. There are commas at the end of each bar. What, how do you interpret those? Well, more or less space. It could go any number of ways. Intonation, fine. Make sure you've got your D minor scale fully in, in your mind, and, um, and then the solo should go by itself. But after decades of teaching, I suddenly realized I owe my students more than this. I really, really, really have got to do more homework. And so I did more homework and I dug deeper into that solo, into its derivation, its history, and um, I realized how little I knew about it. And uh, as I started to do that, I told my students, when Larry first learned this, he knew nothing about it. He knew how to play it, but he didn't know anything about it. And I say, don't be that Larry. And so this Larry has a little bit to say about that solo, having done his homework. Mahler probably would have become aware of this song as either Bruder Jakob or Bruder Martin. One way or another, it's a fairly happy children's song, and, uh, and he certainly did, in the interest of irony and sarcasm, upend it. And the irony of that moment could very well have been inspired by the woodcut by Moritz von Schwind, called the Hunter's Funeral Procession. In that woodcut, you see a cortege of animals bearing the coffin of a hunter, probably the hunter that hunted them. I would say that's ironic. And the irony continues. A bass solo. How often do you hear a bass playing a solo? Not often. In my opinion, not often enough. But in, perhaps in the time that Mahler wrote this symphony, too often. Who knows for sure? But um, Mahler, I believe, had I had read that he originally imagined that solo being played by the cello, but um, decided that the cello would be probably too beautiful. And so he opted for the bass because he knew it would be less beautiful and probably speak to the sarcasm and irony of that particular moment. Now, there are some editions where it does not say solo, it says soli. In other words, a complete section of bass players playing that solo. That could either be a transcendent moment or the opposite. And as we dig even deeper into those seemingly simple eight bars, there comes a question, how do you play those 16th notes? 
In other words, do you play them exactly as 16th notes? Some schools of thought say play them exactly as 16th notes. I wasn't so sure. And so I did a little bit of reading and discovered just how persecuted Mahler was as a Jew. He suffered anti-Semitism throughout his life, throughout his career. And uh, what a heartbreak it was, what a heartbreak it must have been. And might that have been the reason that in the middle of this brooding movement, there is a klezmer band? <laughs> So I asked some musicians familiar that actually perform that stuff, and, and I asked them, how do you play those eighth notes? And they say, we always stylize them, which means... So that's why I made the decision to play those sixteenth notes that way. And just when I thought I knew all there was to know about those eight bars, in the process of fact-checking for this presentation, I discovered one more fact, that Mahler, when this piece was originally presented, uh, had assigned a program to this symphony. And as he described the fourth movement, he called it in the style of Callot. A French printmaker around the six, early 1600s, and I have yet to, to decide what to make of that fact. Maybe you can help me.